part of it was inbreeding. Uh, this, this is your own theory. No, no, no. Look at someone else's Muslims has a theory? and inbreeding. Major, major problem. I've never heard this before. Especially with immigrants in Britain, huh. like the Pakistanis in London, they'll have all kinds of serious inbreeding problems because that's an even smaller sample size you're dealing with. Strap yourself in for this. Seventy percent of all Pakistanis are inbred, and in Turkey, the amount is between twenty-five to thirty percent. More stillbirths among immigrants, a rough estimate reveals that close to half of everybody living in the Arab world is inbred. A large percentage of the parents of this is blowing my mind. So listen to the BBC investigation in Britain several years ago revealed that at least 55 percent of the Pakistani community in Britain was married to a first cousin. Holy shit. BBC's research also discovered that while British Pakistanis account for just 3.4% of all births in Britain, they accounted for 30% of all British children with recessive disorders and a higher rate of infant mortality. What in the fuck? Labor Party MP has called for a ban on first cousin marriage. Medical evidence shows that one of the negative consequences of inbreeding is a 100% increase in the risk of stillbirths. Wow, that I, is insane. I also read somewhere that a lot of the symptoms of inbred people are uh, irrational rage, uh, that fanaticism, and they end up just describing ISIS. Look at what it says here that um, with the, uh, the IQ points. It says findings on intelligence. Research shows that if one parent's are cousins, if one's parents or cousins, intelligence goes down 10 to 16 IQ points. The risk of having an IQ lower than 70, criterion for being retarded, in quotes, are they using that word? Mm -hmm. Increases 400% among children from cousin marriages. Well, let me say that again. The risk of having an IQ lower than 70 increases 400% amongst children from cousin marriages. Jesus Christ. And why don't we know this? Because people don't like the truth. Islamophobia. They don't like being called Islamophobic by even discussing it. Like, we're going to be called Islamophobic for even bringing this up. Information has to... So, let me just make this very clear, my people. As I told you before, the truth is more disturbing than a lie. Now, they want to just tell you that this is in the Islamic community, but this is not just there. This is also, like you heard, in Britain, in London. This is also amongst, um, in, in the India these are this is very prominent and uh, uh, amongst the royal family the fake royal family inbreeding is very prominent and what we don't understand as a species on this planet that these people suffer from sexual dimorphism they suffer from a very low IQ due to the fact that they are they are spliced a lot of the males are spliced with a male monkey, but they are all the other animals that are used to genetically modify them are feminine based species. The same thing goes with the Asian man, the Arab man, all, all of them are the same. And as I told you before, my people, that this is going to come out even more because this is the reason why it's, e it's easier to put a battery in their back and a gun in their hand and get them to kill and slaughter each other because they are a mindless species. Their brains are underdeveloped. Their frontal lobe and prefrontal lobe doesn't grow to its proper status, no matter if it's inbreeding or not. The inbreeding makes it 10 times worse, makes it 100 times worse for that matter. Listen, you all can call it what you want. You can call it racism. The Arab community inbreed, the European community inbreed, and they also mate with animals. They sleep with dogs. This is what you're not understanding. And they try to make it seem like this doesn't happen, but they keep it away from you. They think about the mortality rate with the inbreeding with them. And think about, look at what happens with us. The only way our children are dying is from the foods, vaccinations, and the fact that we have been programmed that if we have a child, it's going to slow us down as far as career building. So we get abortion. So we own depo. We own all types of birth control. These people can't even naturally replicate themselves.
This is the age of Aquarius where the truth is more disturbing than the lie. And this is going to be increased even more. So when it comes down to cannibalism and barbaric situations, that's the barbaric, um, barbaric activities, this is going to kick off dramatically when the power goes out. Abundance and gratitude.